Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. Ireland is the setting for the first course. Neil McFadden cooks duck liver and a packet with sage leaf and duxelle stuffed mushrooms wrapped in brick dough. Then an entree is prepared at Cannes in southern France. Chef Christian Morissette does a multi-step duck dish presented with peaches and rhubarb. Then from historic Salzburg in Austria, Chef Gernot Hika prepares dessert, a sweet crepe that features a filling of crushed praline and whipped cream. This course is offered from Luttrellstown Castle, Dublin. The executive head chef, Neil McFadden, is an Irishman, but has worked on the continent at hotels in Switzerland and then Belgium. He came to the castle in 1997. His starter is crisp parcel of mushroom and sage with duck liver. Now, just put the mushrooms on. Flat-capped mushrooms like portobellos are started on top of the stove. So it's about one, one mushroom per portion. And what I do is I start on the hot pan with a little bit of uh, oil, butter. Don't forget to season them. And then I'll cook them in the oven for approximately five minutes at 180 degrees. That's about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Another vegetable garnish is parsnip sticks. Very simply, I'm just going to pan fry these with a little bit of butter, no, uh, noisette style. And uh, these are one of the garnishes along with the baby shiitake mushrooms. The parsnips are browned slightly, then are finished in the oven at 350 degrees. So you remove the mushrooms from the oven and a bit of balsamic. I like to finish the balsamic, gives them a nice sweet flavor. The trick here is to dry your mushrooms as well as you can. Okay, now, what we have here is the mushroom duck cell. And we're going to try and stuff them with a spoonful of duck cell. So. Duxelle is a paste of finely chopped mushrooms, shallots, and herbs cooked in butter. Inside. Now, here are the sheets of foie de brick. And the reason I dry the mushrooms very well is I'm trying to keep this pastry as dry as possible because if any of the residue from the mushroom comes through, it'll make the pastry wet. And if the pastry is wet, the whole parcel won't crisp up. Because when you cut into this, you want a nice crunchy, crackling sound. And so you go like so. One sheet of the uh, foie de brick, a leaf of sage, the mushroom like this, dried really well, on top of the sage. The good thing about the sage is it acts as a type of a barrier. Lightly egg wash. Close like so. So what you're trying to create is a square type shape, like a little parcel. Just turn over like so. Bake it on this buttered, seasoned baking sheet, and we'll very lightly egg wash it. I'll just turn another one just to be sure. 
Bake at 375 for five minutes. Now these are two other items which are going to be uh, effectively as a garnish. And uh, these are the, the, duck, the duck liver, plus the little shiitake mushrooms, okay? And very simply what I do is I just pan fry the duck liver on a screaming hot pan. And I'll put them aside and then I'll finish the shiitake mushrooms. And that sage, the parcel, should be ready. Butter hot soup. A little bit of porto. After the quick deglaze with port wine, the liver is set aside. The shiitakes are sautéed in butter. And just to add extra flavor and body to the shiitake mushrooms, I'm going to add in some sage leaves. Very last minute I add the herbs so we don't cook out the flavor. So that's it. The sauce is a reduction of sugar, balsamic vinegar, and duck sauce. In the place. Now to assemble a dish, I start with the parsons first. Serve the parcel like in a bed of uh, parsnips. It's a nicer looking one too. Just like so. And I garnish up my duck liver. very casually dressed the plate. I don't like food which is too contrived looking. And we spoon around our bittersweet balsamic jus. And that's it. That's a crisp parcel of portobello mushroom with sage, duck liver and shiitake mushroom with bittersweet balsamic jus. Telwana in Cannes was built in 1930 in less than seven months. Those were the days. It must have taken that long for Chef Christian Morissette to grow this mustache. His domain at the hotel is La Terrasse Restaurant, and from there he presents duck with peaches and rhubarb. In this recipe, the duck breast and leg are cooked with different methods, particularly in terms of time. If attempting this recipe, the leg and thigh portion should be started the day before. It requires six to seven hours of cooking. The breast is removed and the bone left in. The cartilage near the breast bone is split. With the leg and thigh section, the thigh bone is removed and wrapped around the leg and sewed with cooking twine. The final product essentially looks like an enlarged drumstick. 
la cuisse d'un trottoir. For this demonstration, the breast and leg section are more or less started together. Remember, there is a six to seven hour difference between the cooking times. The duck breast is seasoned and will be browned in peanut oil. The breast goes in skin side down. The chef explains again the prep on the duck leg. It too is browned on top of the stove. The duck breast has taken on some color and is turned. On laisse une deux minutes sur la sur la plaque et ensuite on va finir la, la cuisson dans un four. Donc à côté vous avez la cuisse qui est en train de rôtir. The same is true of the thigh section. The duck breast goes into a 500 degree oven for five to six minutes. Meanwhile, the leg thigh section is put into another pan and heavily reduced duck stock is added. Then it is covered tightly with foil and put in a very low oven for six to seven hours. The breast section is out of the oven and is set on a draining rack in order to draw out some of the blood. Foil is put over the breast. Du sang qui s'écoule. Donc là, on garde la viande, on fait reposer la viande. Si par exemple, je veux couper ma viande ou serrer ma viande de suite, ça va pas être bon parce que dès que je devais donner un coup de couteau, le sang il va couler de tous les côtés. Donc ça s'appelle faire tirer une viande. Donc là, on réserve, on réserve sur le côté. The chef has a completed confit of leg and thigh. He is testing for the tenderness. Then he puts it in another pan, bastes with more reduced duck stock, and warms it in the oven. The breast section is boned. Donc on partage en deux. On retourne. Avec le couteau, on dégage l'os. On ne sert pas l'aileron, le, on ne sert uniquement que la poitrine. Là, j'ai mon beurre qui est chaud, donc je mets des pêches dans une poêle. Dans une poêle je mets dans Meanwhile, le sections of a peeled peach and sticks of peeled rhubarb are sautéed in butter. On fait juste un petit peu coloré de chaque côté. Et ensuite, on met quelques minutes au four. They'll be browned slightly on top of the stove and finished in the oven. The chef turns his attention back to the breast. The small part of the filet, often called the supreme, will be presented on the final plate. Now the peach and rhubarb go into the oven. This is melted gooseberry jelly, a terrifically expensive item in France. Legend has it that there is one little old lady in one little French town who does nothing but remove gooseberry seeds with a feather. Here it's combined with reduced duck stock. The confit leg and thigh are coated with this combination. The confit is rolled in fresh peppercorns before presentation. The fruits are placed on the plate first. On la place sur la rubarbe. 
Il est pêche. Et là, on présente le caneton. Avec le petit filet mignon. Duck sauce spiked with peach vinegar finishes the dish. Un cordon de jus autour de l'assiette. In Salzburg, the Goldener Hirsch Hotel dates back to 1407, which is pretty old. There wasn't even vertical plate presentation back then. Gernot Hika has been there for six years, an executive chef for the last two. His dessert is a namesake signature, dessert crepe a la Goldener Hirsch. Den Zucker karamellisieren. Sugar is caramelized. So, wenn der Zucker hell karamellisiert ist, die ganzen Mandeln dazu geben. Whole almonds are added to the caramelized sugar. Und gut vermischen. Und jetzt den Krokant auf ein Fettpapier geben. The praline is spread on waxed paper. Und glatt drücken. Chef Hika uses a rolling pin to flatten the praline before it is chilled for 30 minutes. Jetzt auf ein Fettpapier geben. After chilling, the praline or almond brittle is crushed with a rolling pin. Einschlagen. Und mit einem Rollholz. Den zerstoßenen Krokant geben wir jetzt für die Karamellsauce den Zucker karamellisieren. Sugar is caramelized to begin a sauce.
das oberste zugeben. Whipping cream is added slowly to the caramel. By adding the cream slowly, Chef Hika avoids creating lumps. Bekommen Sie keine Klumpen. The sauce is reduced for about three minutes. Three minutes to the right consistency. For service, crushed praline is sprinkled on a crepe. und auf ein Dreieck zusammenschlagen. After folding, the crepe is filled with whipped cream. Garnieren. Noch etwas Glockhand außen herum streuen. mit der Karamellsauce überziehen. Und mit etwas Puderzucker bestreuen.